hi guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much as always i'm so glad for everybody that has connected and liked and subscribed you guys are the best and if you're just joining us don't forget to like and subscribe today i'm going to talk a little bit about my alex also engineering experience this video is going to be about if i recommend this program for you aspiring software engineers computer scientists so without further ado let's just get right into the video so i'm going to start with a little back story about my experience so here i was a high school graduate and waiting for admission board and also wanting to advance my skill as a software engineer because i knew what i wanted to get into okay so i knew that all the resources they always tell us is available on the internet and all those things but my problem was how do i know what to learn afterwards and what to start with so i decided that Getting a curriculum to follow would be the best decision to make at that particular point. I think it was around January, January 2022. I was just scrolling through Instagram and then I saw the advertisement for the software engineering program of ALX. And of course, as a normal team, what anybody would do, the first thing I checked was if it was free. And obviously, it was free. And then the next thing I checked was if it was good. So I went to read the reviews of others. And let me just tell you offhand, they were bad. Bad reviews. People complaining here and there. And so I just decided to go for it. To have my own experience because it was free. And I had nothing to lose and everything to gain. So I went for it. And bro. I need to tell you that even the application process was a hassle. It was a long process and even at the beginning they would usually tell you the number of hours it would take and legit it took that long. They asked for an essay, a, a mini essay. They kept asking what your goal for the program was and they kept emphasizing the great mentality and how you need to stick to it. I didn't understand until I started the program. Let's just say that they gave a lot of forewarning to what they had in store for us. I started the program February 2022. Let me just tell you, offhand, it was a mess. It was so confusing. I didn't know what was going on. I was completely blank because I had no history. The only history of coding I had was uh, a few forms on java and uh, a few websites using html and css so we were first of all firstly introduced to github and it was so complicated back then i didn't know where to start and where to begin the guys finally realized how confused we were so they actually did a detailed breakdown of the task that we needed to do which was creating our github account and linking it the alx system they have an entire framework website it's very 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 advanced and very very organized actually so you can you actually link your github account to that website and then you start coding they give you tax per topic so each day there's new topic each day a new topic and you have to learn it they give you youtube videos they give you websites to read on that particular topic and then go ahead and give you tasks on that topic and you have to do their number of tasks in the appropriate time which is usually one day for first submission and i think the maximum was three days and after three days you get 50 percent if you don't finish on the allocated time so the allocated time was usually one day for particular sets of tasks and if you if you exceed one day you cannot get a hundred percent on that tax anymore so your grades will reduce and they did warn us that if at the end of the one month of the course and you don't have up to an 80 percent total grade they are going to cut you off 
and bro, they cut a lot of people off. I mean, apart from the ones that left on their own, they really did cut people off that didn't have up to date friends. So, we actually started the curriculum from the basics. The problem was that it went very fast. The tasks were a lot and especially for someone new to the entire system and they kept emphasizing on group work and community and you might think this is just like the usual oh connect with people kind of thing but bro i wouldn't have survived without the community legit they were so helpful because they were people that were more advanced so so it was kind of like a pair to pair kind of work so we didn't have mentors that were like always on the call the mentors were there only to assist when we cannot help ourselves like that you have to depend on the pair and god help you to find someone really good like i did or like a group of people and legit these people will stay on the call we'll do a group zoom call and we'll be trying to figure out that problem till 3 a.m in the night the project usually stops at 6 a.m on the dot every single day legit the 3 a.m will be on a zoom call with total strangers that we don't know that's how determined we were to complete this course let me talk about the group projects so after a while they gave a group project and the way you do it is that you link up with your partner on github so you create a new project and then you link up with them they give you the opportunity to pair up with anybody you want but if you procrastinate it or for some reason you can't seem to choose a partner and you delay and the, the period of you picking your partner closes they will pair you with anybody that is still in the course and the problem with that is that some people are not active some people are just there but they are ghosts i have been paired to somebody that literally ghosted me i text that email everything but he never responded so basically the structure of the program goes like this you have an onboarding month, so from February to March, whatever. Of course, you'll be giving projects and tasks, but they're not going to count. So even if you get a low score, it won't be counted among your normal scores. So it's just for you to get used to their system. So the real program starts in March. And the first part of the program was the foundation. So they give you the foundations of coding and software engineering and programming and so the foundation lasts from march to december i'll just say that there were barely any holidays it is an international body so it like gives only holidays that pretty much general and not country specific first of all we learned how to manipulate the gates and how to use the github how to push and pull from your command line or vagrant or whatever machine you're using and then we now got into the major part which was c programming and bro did i learn c programming i studied it oh not to mention the uh tests that they give i think it was every month there is a test and Whatever you score on that test will be added to your grade, so you had to score a good score. Did I read for those tests? I studied for those tests. And it's not like they were really difficult, but this whole thing was like super new to me. So I really, really had to. There were many times I considered dropping out. First of all, I was really scared because I was going to go into school and I really wanted to do well in school and I didn't want anything distracting me. Like I couldn't see how I could stay awake at 3 a.m. on a school night because of ALX. So I didn't want it to affect my education. I thought about dropping out, 
and there was one time my laptop spoiled and um, I lost some of my very important keys and at that point I also thought about dropping out for whatever reason I didn't and it's all by the grace of God because I don't know what kept me in this program and they actually said it <laughs> pretty much the race is not to the swift they actually emphasize that it's not about how much you know about coding it's about your mindset and your great mentality and your ability to stick to something no matter what hardship comes your way once you start the program you will actually start realizing why they kept emphasizing on some certain things and kept telling you but I think if you actually take them seriously and take their word for it you actually see that they did warn about the program being difficult and it was So at the end of the foundations, you have a personal project to present for that you can do anything you want to. So if you don't have an idea, there's a default project you can do, but I think most people did their own projects. So I did make a website kind of like for planning and I spent hours because I wanted it to be interactive so I wanted the user to be able to impute something blah 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 the point is that I did it and I was able to cross over because that without that project you won't be able to cross over to the next phase of the whole drama <laughs> which was specialization so they gave a long period to pick what specialization you wanted to go into either front end or back end being kind of always in the front end side of programming i decided to build on my front end skills and not just rush into back end so this lasted from december from late december january february and march so at the end of the specialization you have to create another project which i did using react because i was tired of html and css and i wanted to develop my skills we were taught react javascript um, advanced html and css in the utilization program front end site we had our graduation ceremony in april and it was fun we were happy and then they gave us the statistics so we were about thirty thousand that started and we were about 800 and something that graduated the ratios were insane there was a time people were just exiting like you just see you just scroll up and then you see this person left this person left this person left people were legit dumping the program and like us that we were still in the program we were so alarmed like what's going on why are people leaving that kind of thing Would I recommend ALX to anyone? Yes, I would recommend ALX if you are ready for that and if you can cope with that. But if you know that you're not going to be able to, it's better for you not to even start it in the first place because that would be a waste of time and energy. But if you're pretty sure that you're going to carry through to the end, then you should definitely, definitely do ALX. And it's actually worth it and you join a very awesome community of people so I 100% recommend ALX on this criteria if you want to see a video of like tips on how to survive ALX just leave it in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to do such a video but this was just my experience with the whole process and I am a graduate and I'm really happy to wrap them so thank you so much everyone for watching this video I hope it helped you make the decision and I'll see you in the next one bye bye